uh, greetings everyone i want us to learn in terms of how can we prove theorem number two right but before we can uh, even go to theorem number two right now what does basically this particular theorem means it states that oh we want to prove that the angle at our center right the angle here at our center it is twice the angle at the circumference okay so basically we want to prove that aob aob is twice what it's twice acb right now how do you go about proving this now we are obviously going to do this i want us start by doing firstly we are going to let let's say firstly we let our angle c one to be close to our x right okay and also our what and also our angle C2 to be close to our Y, right? So which means now this is going to be uh, our X here. And this here is going to be equals to our Y. So that's the first fundamental thing that you are going to do. Then now, secondly, how are we then going to do this? Obviously, we are going to join CO, which means this is going to be connected CO, right? This particular dotted line. We are going to con connect it up until P, right? So that's going to be our construction here, right? That's going to be our construction. And after we've done that, now we are going to be in a position to understand. Now, if you can look at our angle, what? If you can look at our, uh, our angle, firstly, our angle A. If you can look at this particular angle, our angle A, is going to be close to our angle x this particular angle is going to be close to our angle x why is it you are going to say look your angle c1 is going to be close to our angle a which means both of them are equals to x why this is going to be opposite angles of equal radii remember c o and also a o is going to what it's going they are going to be equal because those are going to be your radii right and since these are going to be your radii right now remember a uh, equal sides subtend what subtend equal angle which means now this is going to be opposite angles this is going to what are uh, angles this is going to be angles opposite what this is angles opposite equal sides right equal sides or equal radii oh, okay that's what you can say remember because this particular particular side co and also our ao it's going to be equal then secondly what else are you going to take out from here uh now uh what else are we going to take out this is what i want you to look at now if you can look at our angle p1 for an example right or our angle o1 rather our angle o1 if you can come and say now our angle o1 is going to be same as what now can you see that if you are looking at this particular triangle let me just try and draw it here if you are looking at this red triangle right if you are looking at this red triangle can you see that our angle o1 is going to be the exterior angle of a triangle right and you know that the exterior angle of a triangle is going to be equal to the what the interior opposite angles right so which means our angle O1 is going to be equal to what? It is going to be equals to our angle C1 and also is going to be equals to plus what? Our angle A. Altogether, this is going to also be equal to our angle A, right? Why are we saying that? Which means both of them, because C1 and also angle A is X, which means both of this is going to give you 2X. Why? Because this is going to be your what? Your exterior this is going to be your exterior what exterior angle of triangle what of triangle OAC triangle OAC how to get that's going to be the exterior angle of that particular triangle now and the same is true for an example if you can apply the same concept that you've applied here you'll realize that our angle B also if let's say we come back to this other triangle, firstly, you are going to say, look, your angle C2 uh, is going to be equal to your angle B, which both of them are going to be equal to your Y. Why is it so? Because remember also that your, your CO and also your OP is going to be your radii. I would get So which means these are going to be angles, are uh, angles opposite equal sides or angles are uh, opposite equal what? Equal radii. How to get now 
And then what else can you take out from here? Then you're going to also say, can you see that now uh, from here? If both of these are going to be equal to y, which means this is going to be equal to angle y, which means if I can say our angle O2, our angle O2 is going to be equal to our angle C2 uh, plus what? This is going to be equal to our angle C2 and also our angle B, which means both of these are going to be 2y. Why? Because this is going to be your exterior, right? This is going to be exterior angle, exterior angle of your triangle. What? This is exterior angle of your triangle C, uh, C O B, right? And now, if that's the case, then what else now are we then going to do from here? So if both of these are going to be equal, then we are going to come back and say now, if let's say we are adding this, right? Now, if let's say we are saying our angle O1, if let's say we want to add this angle O1 here and also our angle O2, what is it that you can uh, take from here? Which means if you can say our angle O1 plus our angle O2, this is going to give you what? This is going to give you your 2x plus your what? This is going to give you your 2y. Remember, because your angle O1 is plus 2, uh, C1 and angle A, which is going to be equal to 2x, and this is equal to 2y. So, which means when you're adding this, this is going to give you that. Now, for an example, what else are you going to do now? Can you see that here you're having 2x and 2y? When you take out the 2 as a common factor, you're going to be left with x plus what? x plus y. And now, what is x plus y? Now, if you can look at this, your x plus y, can you see that this angle here, this angle here is given by what? Our x and also our y, right? So if that particular angle is given by x and y, and what is the name of these triangles here? Can you see that it's C1 and also our C2, right? So which means basically uh, this particular triangle is going to be equal to 2 uh, angle what? This is going to be 2 angle C1 plus what? Plus angle C2. And what is angle C1 and C2? Look, if you can say, if let's say you want to mention all this angle here, can you see that your angle A1 and also your angle O1 and O2 is equal to what your angle AOB? So which means you can say your angle AOB uh, is going to be equal to what is C1 and C2? Can you see that C1 and C2 is going to what? ACB, which means your AOB is going to be twice angle what? AC. B. Out again, which means yes, this is going to be equals to this particular theorem which they wanted us to prove, right? So basically, this is how we go about when proving this particular theorem. And hopefully, this makes sense to you now. And thank you very much.